And she's going to sneak around. She just walked up to me, so I thought I'd say good morning to her with y'all. He just stood up, still doing a little stretching. I didn't get it in the video last night. Uh, his mama ain't milking. Well, maybe I did. He ended up getting a bottle last night. And uh, number two said she was going to get him a bottle this morning. And he's a little wobbly on the front because he was knuckling over. But right now he's up on him. We, uh, he was partially knuckled over yesterday. And sometimes you got to put splints on him. Sometimes you get by without. But right now he's walking right. Just gently, which, okay. If he walks differently, he probably would knock it over, but I'm sure he knows it doesn't feel good, right? No, well, that's a, a good thing I see this morning. We don't have to splint him. I mean, it's not that big a deal to do it, but, you know, you end up with shitty splints and shitty hands and Usually, the kids end up sitting in the straw to hold on to them to put them on. A lot easier than bending over. And these whiny butts. Yes. Yeah, big heifer. And I think she's bigger than that big steer. <laughs> I'm reasonably sure from here. But it's hard to tell. The manure's kind of deep in there. I don't know how deep it is where he's standing. Oh, and... She's got to make noise this morning. Okay. I still got to get to work and get some feeding done. It's going to be, oh, number one said she'd feed him at 6.30. Or she'd get up at 6.30, I should say. So another what, hour, hour and a half before she's going to be down here to feed him. But mommies are fed. That's good enough for now. Hey, wait. I'm sorry. I'm not going to get a sunrise this morning by the looks of it. It's foggy all the way around us and clear over us, but there's the beginning of your moon set. I was wondering why it was so light when I set the lights off in the feed barn. Sure, the lockup latch is in the way. Here, there you go. There's a set of little feet on the other side of her. I'm hoping her milk came in. Number two said she'd get up at 6.30 and get him a bottle. Well, the bottle was full up to the nipple. That's all he drank out of it. And she said he's kind of filled out this morning, so... Hopefully she's going to milk. I still kind of wonder, with uh, the breeding date on her, she wasn't due till sometime in March. And, I mean, he's a decent-sized calf. I've... Seen bigger, but so what? I can't see if he's got a hold of there. He's, I see his chin anyway. Um, generally, if they're premature, their teeth will be covered with membrane, and his teeth were completely uncovered, but his teeth also had some pretty good gaps between them, which is what we found kind of another indication it could be early. I don't know why. I mean, you know, once they're six months old, you never know they look that way. But if he's early, he's damn big. If it's somewhere in between, I mean, even if even if he's only a few days early, could be that she just wasn't ready to give milk yet. But he is working at it. If he's working at it and he's getting enough, that's what counts. And, yes, the little girl is eating, too. Looks like her mommy needs to do a little butt licking, but it ain't too dirty. Oh, there's your morning update on the little buggers. Yeah, what happens when one, side, one side's dry, you go to the other. At least she figured out there was two sides to her mother. Okay, that's enough for now. Well, I've only been how many days trying to get this done? It's almost 10.30 now. 
I actually had at least an hour just masking the top. Had to do that this morning and then a couple spots. You know, electrical tape works great, but if you stretch it a little, it likes to come undone when you're doing this kind of thing. Hey, look, you can see me. Hi. Um, had a few spots I had to touch up. Not too bad. That's three coats. It was uh, three and about three and three quarters cans of that paint. And oh, hey, this is special for Tony Walsh. You know, I showed the can, but I, I accidentally had my thumb over part of it. No worries, Tony. John Deere didn't actually make that cab anyway. As far as I can tell, the only thing they made was the bottom that's underneath it that it's bolted to. So they didn't make the cab. Looks like they were making those machines to be just a platform and then the cab was actually added on over the top of it. So I just got done and eh, I got a couple spots that did loosen. Hopefully they didn't do too much. Um, it's had, I don't know, probably been 10 minutes cleaning stuff up. Give her a little longer and I'll start peeling stuff off. Do it while it's still not super hard and it comes off a lot easier without making a mess. But if you do it too soon, sometimes you'll peel some paint off anyway. And uh, yeah, the only thing that makes red paint better than white, white paint gets everywhere. Red paint just kind of settles wherever. You know, on top of the new bait stations we just got yesterday, which I'm thinking I need to either find a good place to hide those so the dogs can't get near them or I'm going to have to put some tubes off of them. Um, I just wiped a couple chairs off and made a mess that way. I still have the door to paint and the side panels that cover this corner up. So I got plenty of paint left. I don't mind having an extra can around because you never know what you might want to use it on. But I think it come out pretty good. There's just a touch of orange peel to it. And yes, there are a couple little spots that have runs. Let's see if I can get it. Yep, right there because that was a icky spot in the metal and I was trying to get it to soak into it. Other than that, there's, see, there's just a little bit of peel to it. And it's early enough that might still even, most of it might disappear. You know, it's going to be curing for a while. And in the meantime, oh, there's somebody that needs to go on a plane and have a crash out in the middle of the ocean. If you don't know who that is, it's our governor. She hates farmers. She hates loggers. The only thing she thinks the state needs is tourism and high tech. I'm sorry, we don't need either one of those because that's not where all the money in the state comes from. Oh, well, that's enough of that little rant. Okay, there it is, unmasked. There's a couple little spots here and there, but... There's still paint under those spots and you can't see them without climbing around where I was. Well, other than here, because as I said before, there really wasn't any sense in trying to mask all that. That's just one big panel. Looked good enough to me. The only thing I did see, of course, after getting all the way done, and I was sitting in a chair going around it, making sure I didn't miss any tape down low. Shame on me, shame on Ron, shame on number two. That's a hole right there. I don't know how we missed that. I really don't. <clears throat> but it's there. And there's a little chunk of junk. Yeah, right there in the middle. That was stuck underneath the edge of the handle and I knocked it loose and it stayed up there. And after I was all done, it's down there. But, you know, not like it's meant to be perfect. It's just meant to look good sitting up on top of that machine. So, not that I had to paint that strip red. I could have left it green. 
moved too fast. It looked like it was all black. <laughs> but it is what it is. Found a few more bees when I uncovered it. Four of them in there that all decided to commit suicide underneath that tape spool. I haven't seen any more in there. Found four this morning on the floor that they, they jumped and committed suicide too. And then another one. I don't know. They just decided it's finally warm enough to come out. Of course, the heat's turned up, so this will cure. So, anyway, still got more to do in here. In fact, looks like a, a little extra rust over by that one bolt hole. Should I do something with it? Yeah, maybe, maybe not. I figure I got everything stopped. I don't know how Ron squirted, how well he squirted inside those with paint, if he did or not. I need to talk to him when he gets here. Make sure we get the inside of those painted goods so maybe we don't have any issues like that with the rest of it. And I don't know if it's going to be worth trying to put on today or not. I guess we will find out later. Oh man, I got me a couple of runs. I got me a, so you can see it, a sag right there, which has a run. And there's a run all the way up. Yeah, it ain't gonna be that noticeable. I ain't worried about it. Like I said, it's protected. And most of the paint job is really good. Here's one little thing about using electrical tape. It's been on there long enough it started to unstick a little on the edges because it was pulled tight. So there's a few little strips on the rubber, but not much. Not enough to worry about. Probably flake it off with a pocket knife in a week. But nice and shiny. Gosh, I had to put an ending on here. Totally missed the sunset because I don't think there was one. Because it's raining. Oh, imagine that. Yay. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. Appreciate that. And we'll see what tomorrow brings.